Hi there, this is TD Cat Tech. Welcome to an episode of Moving to Mac. I have recently uh, purchased a MacBook Pro and uh, therefore I am doing a lot more stuff now on the Mac compared to the MacBook Air that I was using back in uh, 2015 and onwards. And um, one of the things that I've always found difficult is the mouse, this magic mouse. And I finally get it. And I just wanted to explain to anyone out there who has come to this mouse thinking, this is horrible. How am I supposed to use this thing? It's just rubbish. And also anyone who's found themselves scrolling all over the place with it. This is a very different device to this. This is a kind of standard mouse, right? Something you would use on a normal, you know, just a normal kind of Windows PC, potentially something like that. And uh, I'm going to use my left hand on this so you can see it better on the camera. But I'll just talk you through the two different ways that you need to hold these mice and treat them. And you, you have to give it a go, right? You've got to give it a week or two and get used to it. Because if you sit down and you use one of these and you're thinking, this is horrible, I just can't do it, then you haven't given it enough time. Because once you get used to it, you understand how good and how nicely designed this mouse actually is. And that's not coming from any kind of Apple fanboy or anything like that. Just from someone who's given it a go and given it that 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 required two weeks that I always say when you're having a problem with a new bit of tech or some change or something like that, give it two weeks. <laughs> so first of all, you've got your standard mouse like this. The typical thing to do with a mouse like this is that you will put weight on this top bit here. And you're sure you'll rest your wrist down here as well, but you'll put weight actually on the mouse itself. And you'll probably rest your fingers actually on the mouse as well. So all you have to do when you're clicking is you just sort of, you're just basically going, you know, you're just doing that. Because you don't have your fingers up here, because if you have your fingers up here, you're having to do that, and that's kind of what old people do, right? You see people go, yes, yes, Dad, that's right. Click there, yes. And um, so you, so you generally with a mouse like that, you're going to have, have your weight actually on the mouse and have your fingers resting like that. Very different with a magic mouse. Okay, so I'll hold it with the hand that I would normally hold it with first. Firstly, take it between, in my case anyway, take it between this and this, or, or maybe just your kind of ring finger here, and your thumb. In fact, I'm going to do it this way because you can't see it, can you? And so your thumb and your ring finger here, and you just gently move the mouse around like that using those two fingers. By default, you'll notice also that these are set up so to require more movement than, than usually a cursor does on a Windows PC. And uh, and that's okay. I mean, you can adjust that if you want, but uh, in this case, it's actually all right because you, know, you can push the mouse around like this. And the main difference is there is, you put your weight here on your wrist, on the desk, and your hand hovers over the top of the mouse like that. Your fingers hover over the top of the mouse as well, like this, because essentially this is all a touch surface. If I want to scroll, I can scroll here, I can scroll here, I can scroll here. It doesn't make any difference to this mouse. This is a touch surface. And if you had a phone, which I don't have to hand actually at the moment, but if you had a phone, you wouldn't rest your fingers on the touch screen, would you? Because then you'd be you know, there'd be input into the phone. You would you, you hold your fingers above the touchscreen until you want to do something. It's exactly the same with this mouse. So you hold it like this, you move it around, just move it around as you as you need to move it around. You hold, hold your fingers above, and then you can just tap and touch tap and touch when you need to, and then you can just scroll, scroll around or move about, you know, and when when you actually uh, need to do it. And to start with, you think, well, holding your fingers above like this, this is going to ache my fingers or something like that. It doesn't, I promise you. If you've got your, the weight of your wrist down here on the desk and you're holding the mouse properly like that, it is perfectly comfortable to hold and you'll have no problems with it. It's a different way of holding a mouse and it's a different mouse. If you can't come to terms with that, you will gonna, you're going to have to use a different mouse. You're going to have to go back to something like this instead. But if you're willing to learn and willing to give it a go, you are going to have to treat it as a different mouse because it is. And there's no getting around that. It's not trying to be the same and doing it badly. It's doing it differently and doing it well. So, yeah, there we go. That was something that I kind of had to come to terms with during my uh, moving to Mac. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.